I love UT because our SAA program there, we're all very close to each other. Well, play to honor Jesus, not play for yourself. It's really awesome to meet friends that share like a common interest, just like the passion for Jesus. I want to grow, grow as a person, grow in understanding what, how people think and what grow in life. Listen, I could be more proud of you. I love you guys. Love you guys. Hey, hey, hey. I found a love for me. So I'm gonna die and follow your lead. I found a love beautiful and sweet. I never knew all of this time it was waiting for me. Cause I was so lost when I found your love. Not knowing what it was. Broken until I saw Thank God for giving us a great season and giving us the Morris win is great and God's with us then and as we learned Friday, God's with us to now. And we just want to always thank Him and for the gifts He's given us. I was dancing in the dark when I saw your open arms barefoot on the cross and now I hear you in every song when my life Still a mess, you saw something beautiful. It's just nice knowing, you know, walking through the halls, you know, new people, you know, you make new friends that you'd never make if you weren't an FCA. Just being a role, again, a role model to my team and even the other team, just playing, you know, sportsmanship and ultimately giving God the glory for wins and losses no matter what, just knowing that He is there and He is the reason for all of this. I think something that's cool about FCA is that it kind of brings our different classes together because there's a variety of kids that come to the meetings and read and like there's no really like judgments and like a lot of kids participate. I've started like praying before track meets and before games and it just really helps me feel ready to go and I just know that he's with me when I'm working. Somehow, cause what was once lost is redeemed, a heart once in chains, now free. Um, one day I finally thought I had the guts to end my life and this voice in the back of my head just kept saying one more day, you can do it. One more day. <laughs> Sorry. When I saw your open arms, barefoot on the cross, and now I hear you in every song. When my life was still a mess, you saw something beautiful, and I don't deserve it. This camp saved my life. I can honestly say that. So coming back every year, it just, it just means so much. It really means the world to me. Mm -hmm. Define that, how did it save your life? Uh, just sitting in the chapel one night, it just hit me that we're all living for something bigger. Like it's not just us in this world. So that really just settled down in my heart. And I, I forget what the chaplain was that year, but I don't know. I, it was my third year at camp where it really hit me. Mm -hmm. I really got saved. It's so much fun to be able to like play, but then like come together afterwards and pray together because you just, it keeps your mind like on Jesus and so that it doesn't ever get to the point where you're thinking that it's about you, which I think is really cool because I've never had like a group of Christians that I've been able to just go out and play with. So it's really fun. but your grace is it's not me, you know, it's all God. And the reason that one verse comes up over and over again is because God needed someone to hear it. Mm -hmm. And I think um, what happened here tonight was just a movement of God. And it's just awesome to watch. Mm -hmm.